What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the audio ducking feature in Audacity. Now, if you don't know what Audacity is, I highly recommend you check out this video right here, which shows you all the basic steps, how to get started. If it's a program you've never used before, I highly recommend it is 100% free. Now, this video was also requested right here on one of my previous videos, so if you want to request a tutorial, let me know in the comments. So here we are in Audacity. The first thing I'm going to be doing is recording some audio, which we can then mix with the music. Welcome to the number one cooking show where we tell you how to cook, but we don't show you how to cook. That's right. This is the Michelin star chef, Casual Savage right here, who's going to be telling you how to cook. If you want to know how it looks, cook it yourself. Okay, there we go. We've got basic audio there. I'm just going to clean things up a bit. If you want to check out my video, how to make the audio sound a lot better, check it out in the description. Okay, there we go. My audio is all cleaned up. Now you'll notice here, I've left a couple of gaps. Now the reason I've left these gaps, so first of all, we've got three seconds at the beginning. That's mainly so I can cut out the background noise, but also then I want the music to be playing full volume here. Then it's going to dip down uh, as we talk. It's going to spike back up as the empty gap here and then of course it will just go on like that. So it's really simple. I'm just going to go ahead and drag on some audio as you can see. Now the very most important thing you need to do at this point is drag your audio track which is the music above your voice. So that's how it will look. So I'm just going to zoom into this. Now selected on the music itself you want to head over to effect and from here you want to select auto duck. Now, this is where you get control of how the audio will actually play out. So you can choose how long the fade is, you can choose the volume. Now, to be honest, I found minus 17.5 works perfect for my microphone and for the volume I talk at. So play around with this. You can copy mine, but then of course play around and see what actually is best for you. Now for the fades, I do want them to be a little bit longer. So I'm just going to change it to a second here and also for the fading back in. So all I'm going to do is select OK. And just like that, the audio ducking is done. So you'll notice as we are quiet here, then the music spikes back up. So what I'm going to do is play it through for you. And this is audio ducking completed. Welcome to the number one cooking show where we tell you how to cook, but we don't show you how to cook. That's right, this is the Michelin star chef, Casual Savage right here, who's going to be telling you how to cook. If you want to know how it looks, cook it yourself. And there you go, it's a pretty cool thing that you can add in. It saves you doing it in your video editor and Audacity most of the time is 100% accurate. I've never noticed actual problems when doing it in Audacity. So definitely be sure to take advantage of this feature. As you can see, what I've just done is made a sort of podcast intro using Audacity, using the auto duck feature. It's really simple and it's really quick to do. Like I said earlier, if you want to know how to make your audio sound better in Audacity, then all you need to do is click the link in the description. Now, if you're new to Audacity, then I recommend you check out my other video where I showed you every single step in Audacity to get started. <laughs> 